What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy DC Cuckoo back in for another video. And today we're talking about Dragon Ball Zeroverse. Another up another update. It has been confirmed that about three or possibly four new characters have been confirmed. We have Wiz, who will be playable, Beerus or Lord Beals, Jocko from Akira Toriyama's um newer uh more current manga the ass which is the same name i believe uh and we ha have also confirmed that great vegeta at least in as far as the sand saga goes uh is a boss uh battle character so i'm not sure if we'll be able to play with him later on i'm not sure if great is going to be playable uh that's yet to be seen but that's uh pretty cool though hopefully they don't go around with that uh Ultimate Tenkaichi nonsense, where you play against, you know, the Great Apes and these big bosses and stuff, which you can, you actually can play as them. I, don't, I think that's pretty, pretty, you know, pretty goofy. It's like, you don't put them in the game, let me play them, let me, let me actually use them. I hate that troll stuff, man. That's like when they had, uh, had a cutscene in Burst Limit. Go back and look at it if you don't remember. Uh, I had a cutscene in Burst Limit with Chaosu blowing up uh, on Nappa's back. But yet, Chaosu was not playable in the game. Chaosu has never been playable in a 2D Dragon Ball game ever. And that really pissed me off. It was just you know, some trolling stuff, man. It was just like, why would you show me a character who I can't play as, who I can't get? Like, it really, you know, it really irks me, man. I hate when they do that kind of stuff in games. Don't show me somebody. That cameo nonsense. Don't show me a cameo in the video game. Don't show me somebody who I can't get, who I can't play as, who I can't actually, you know, acquire. I can't stand that kind of stuff, man. Anyway, I digress. And also, Master Roshi is some kind of customizable uh, character model, whatever that means. I'm not sure how it's going to work. If that means that you can just use him uh, as far as create a character, like, you know, like getting big or something like that, like if you're a creative character or something, I'm not sure. But uh, that's interesting. I'm curious to see how it's going to work out. Um, and him and Jocko are download. Uh, only so that's been confirmed in the newest V jump. So I'm not sure there's gonna be uh, in America. I think it'd be pretty stupid. And you know, if there was only Japanese exclusives, it's like, why would you do such a thing? It's like you can add those to the pre order bonus. You know, most people being you know, most people will be enticed to you know, pick this, you know, pick the game up. You know, for you know, the two battle suits, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Roshi and Jocko, that's five, you know, things for pre on the game. You know, you get it earlier or whatever. Or, uh, you know, if you make it later on, available as DLC for Jocko, you know, two bucks or whatever. And I know five dollars per character nonsense, which you know, reasonable. A dollar fifty, ninety nine cents, you know, no more than two dollars. Uh, but about Jocko, this is interesting to me because, to be honest with you, I haven't read that manga. And the character to me is like nothing fancy. Like, he just like another... You know, while oh well, he's a space pirate or invader or alien or whatever. It's like you know, his design. I seen you know, Freezer soldiers look cooler than him as far as design wise. Like, I just don't design wise, he doesn't appeal to me. And manga might be actually pretty good. But I'm tired of people over here. You know, are going around defending a Toriyama to the death. You know, his word is absolute. Like Toriyama is not God. Okay, he makes mistakes. He's made some okay mangas you know the only one that really took off was dragon ball for a reason because there's other stuff like dr slump which i have to i have looked into it was okay but i mean it wasn't nothing fancy i mean it wasn't nothing that you know that you can write home about if people stop stop you know giving kira toriyama you know a free pass for everything because he made dragon ball you know i love that you know i i, I love toriyama you know no homo but you know i always have respect for that man you know for what he's done for me in my childhood and everything with Dragon Ball, you know, part of the reason I'm into anime and everything, you know, as I got older, you know, I have nothing but respect for him and stuff, and I appreciate everything he's done, you know, all the, you know, the hard work, the stress, you know, and everything he did with Dragon Ball. I mean, I know it was hard work, I know it was a lot of stress. I mean, the man had a nervous breakdown, for God's sake. So I, I, I appreciate that, you know, but I'm not going to let that blind my judgment and let anything he makes or creates say, oh, well, this is good, or oh, well, Toriyama made it so. Hey, we gotta put this in the game. That's my problem with this character. How are you gonna put this character in the game? Well, you—they've also said that GT isn't uh, um, 
a priority basically. The, the main focus is to finish up the game. The GT, more GT stuff will be added later. It's like, dude, you put Jocko in there. That's the spot you could have put King Goten or somebody else into the game. I mean, I have no problem with Jocko, but get the GT characters. You can drag them all characters and everybody who are actually from the series in the game first. Then start adding, you know, what if characters and, you know, characters who have nothing to do with the series. That's my thing about it. I mean, I don't like when you want to sit there, I mean, you know, flood the roster with a bunch of, well, Super Saiyan 4 Broly and Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. That's cool. But get everybody else in first. But that's all I really had to say, y'all. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.